Thousands of New Jerseyans have turned to FEMA since the hurricane, and the agency now says it's provided about half of the billion dollars in relief New Jersey has already received. But things have been changing in FEMA. And joining us now, FEMA's federal coordinating officer here in New Jersey, Bill Vogel. Welcome back to the program. The, uh, the evolution of the role, how different is it now from, say, the last time we spoke a few weeks back? Well, Mike, we're uh, thoroughly involved in the recovery process now, and we're working with the state real hard in order to be able to make sure that they've identified all the areas that they might need some help. And if there's anything that we need to do in order to be able to get another agency here to help them, we will certainly continue to do that. I'll talk about more about that in a second, but we've seen the headlines. FEMA cutting back to no overtime, 40 hours in this state. New York still has 55 hours. Why the difference? Well, Mike, the, uh, the core hours that we are now currently supporting is an 80-hour pay period, 40 hours each week. However, there's no cut in overtime. The only thing that we have to do is justify what it is that's going to be done during the overtime. So there's as much overtime as needed in order to be able to support the state. We had spoken with the state about this uh, prior to the time that the decision was made, and really there's no cutback in any of the services that we're providing to the state of New Jersey. Some of the relief centers, I understand, have been closing. Congressman Pallone had written urging that some of them in his district not be closed. Tell me about where things stand in terms of the numbers of, of offices still in business out there. Mike, we still have nine disaster recovery centers that are open. And uh, those disaster recovery centers... At the peak, how many did you have? We had 34 at the okay. peak, Mike. Mm -hmm. And we're still seeing somewhere in the vicinity of 100 per people per day who come to those disaster recovery centers asking us for some assistance. Some of them are new registrants, and we still qualify uh, these new registrants. And we, we want to make sure that everybody who had any type of damage registers with FEMA. You and still have people walking in the absolutely. door then? Absolutely. We still have people who we find that had not registered. And uh, we still ask them to call 1-800-621-3362 in order to be able to register with us or go online to disasterassistance.gov and register with us if they had any damage. Why did they wait so long, do you think? Do you know, Mike, we, we wonder the same thing. You know, we, we're out canvassing communities. We have our uh, FEMA Corps with us canvassing communities. We have the uh, community relations section that's out there walking around, talking to people. And we just find that there are pockets of people who, for some reason or another, had Did, not registered. Didn't get the word? Didn't get the word, don't know. And uh, we want to make sure that we're able to help them. Talk to me a little bit also about the, the whole concept of, of, of a regional recovery. Uh, how different is New Jersey's recovery from New York's? Are we, are we on a par? Are we, are we both in a regional way recovering roughly in the same pace in the same ways? Do you know uh, we are, Mike, and it's, it's very difficult to compare one state against another state in any of these operations. And from my past experience, uh, even when I was out at the Midwest floods with six states involved in the same operation, it's very, very different based on the uh, location and what damage has happened in each one of the states. So uh, we try to coordinate, make sure that the basic policies and what we're doing is in, is, is in sync with uh, New York. Uh, I talk with the uh, federal coordinating officer from New York constantly. We're working on one project, for instance, for mold remediation, and we're making sure that we've got both of our programs that are in sync with one another. Sequestration. Has the federal government told you, have, have your bosses up the chain told you to prepare, to furlough, to cut back because of sequestration? No, not at all, Mike. The near-term effect is not going to affect us at all. We uh, hope that by the time... Uh, uh, at some point in time that our Congress is able to make sure that we've got everything uh, agreed upon on a budget and it should have no, pr no effect on us now at all. Is New Jersey recovering at the pace you expected? Yes, yes, we're doing a great job. Uh, New Jersey has got a, a great program going with their public assistance effort. They've, uh, uh, we have obligated some $190 million to them in the public assistance, the infrastructure repair. The housing program is uh, moving along very, very well. We have 57 people in temporary housing units, and we have 114 people in those units that we rehabilitated at Fort Monmouth. Bill Vogel, we'll leave it there and pick up the conversation down the road. Thank Great. you for coming hey, in. Thanks an awful lot, Mike.